In this video we're going to talk about directories and files. I have already created an empty project to experiment with various ideas related to our discussion and uh, this is our presentation. There are two distinct uh, kinds of information available from the file system associated with any file. Uh, one is the contents of the file, like this Java source file with plain text characters. And the second kind of information is a set of attributes for this file. Uh, like, uh, for example, if we look at this file in this uh, file manager window, we can right click and open its properties. A typical set of uh, file attributes includes file name, uh, file name extension, uh, the size of the file in bytes, uh, date and time of its creation, modification, user permissions to access the file, and many more other attributes. These attributes are also known as file system metadata, the information about the file. So the file may even be deleted by the user, but internally remain intact with only an indicator inside the file system structure, labeling it as a deleted file. All of this is largely considered file system metadata that can be used to examine the organization of the file system itself outside of the scope of the actual file content. One more important category of information about the file that we must recognize is the file path or a file system directory path. Uh, what the path does, it uniquely identifies a physical location of the file with respect to the hierarchical structure of directories and subdirectories that exist in the system. Here is an illustration of a hierarchical uh, structure or nature of directories and subdirectories and files that may exist on some file system. In Java library, the path class provides information about the location of files and directories. And it allows to navigate uh, like this from place to place in a file system. Uh, the entire structure to identify and access a specific file. Now, I also would like to mention that uh, people uh, often refer to a directory path as a folder. So, uh, for example, if I click here in my file manager, uh, you see a lot of uh, folder icons. Uh, I'm going to stay away from the term folder while talking about files. Um, and uh, directory uh, is a term uh, used uh, since the early days of uh, file system design. A folder is a friendly term familiar to uh, Windows users. Uh, the main difference is that a folder is uh, something visible inside a Windows File Explorer, uh, like these candy corn uh, colored icons. Uh, but uh, does not necessarily map uh, to an actual physical directory in a file system. Uh, back in 1995, Windows 95 operating system introduced a program named Windows File Explorer, and along with it uh, there came the term folder. Uh, so what is the difference between, or what is the relationship between the folders and directories? Uh, Windows Explorer generally lets you view folders uh, in its interface. So physical directories are only one type of a folder, uh, namely folders which correspond to an actual file system locations. In Windows, however, uh, we have other types of folders such as control panel or network places and so on. So Microsoft uh, actually clarifies in its documentation that Windows 95 did not rename directories to folders. Instead, Microsoft added the idea of a folder that can point to either a specific file location, uh, which is a physical directory, which is the case most of the time. Or also it could be the folder that represents some additional views like uh, view a list of printers or view a list of network computers or view a list of control panel items. 
All right, uh, so the folder is a virtual placeholder of all sorts of listing items. But in our case, we're focusing strictly on the file system attributes. Therefore, instead of the term folder, I will be talking only about the file system directories. So a directory is strictly a file system object. Uh, since our subject is the file system data and files, I'll stick to the directory term. And with all of this in mind, uh, let's consider a file path, which is sort of like one of the file properties. But strictly speaking, a directory path is not a file attribute. We need to know the directory path uh, before we can access the file. And before is the key part of this. Uh, that's the reason why we have the separate class in Java library. So we can describe a location of an object on the file system before attempting to access it. From the operating system perspective, a path follows the actual directory tree hierarchy uh, and is simply just a string of characters. Uh, for example, uh, this would be a typical uh, Unix path to a file in a certain location on a file system. And this is a typical example of Windows path. Uh, please uh, note uh, that uh, the backslash um, must be itself escaped inside the Java string. So for instance, if I try this Windows path and construct a string that contains it, you see how my Apache NetBeans editor uh, doubles the backslashes in the character string automatically. Uh, but if I copied it from elsewhere and somehow it would look like this, right? So without uh, double backslashes, just as the original command line path specification. So this would be really bad. So just remember to avoid something like this and I'll just comment it out for us to see it as a note. Uh, so then I'll just copy and paste this one more time, see what our source editor does with this. And you see this time I copied it out as a longer part of the code. It did not insert these um, double backslashes for me automatically. Uh, so I'll just try this again to uh, explore what this does one more time. Okay, so now it automatically escaped every backslash uh, to make sure that it's interpreted inside the literal string like this as a normal backslash character and not uh, some other is escape character like uh, tab or new line. A Unix operating system and all of its variations, including Linux, uses the forward slash character as its directory a path separator. Microsoft originally chose to use backslash character as a directory separator, uh, but the latest uh, version of Windows is slash agnostic, allowing both types of slashes in a path specification. You should keep this in mind when writing code. And so this would be a much better choice uh, to use when specifying a particular path. Right. So this was uh, an OK uh, thing uh, to do. Uh, but uh, this, uh, the latest uh, version, is a much better choice. OK. So let's align these notes like this. And uh, I would prefer uh, the letter.